That was Isabel Rosales reporting. We go now to meteorologist Violet Skyber. Now, Violet, so far, I've managed to keep my heating off, but it sounds like that might be something, uh, something to look into tonight. Yeah, tonight is definitely going to be a chilly one. I would probably turn the heat on or at least keep your windows closed. It will be chilly enough tonight to see some frost in the higher elevations, which is why we're also in alert mode. There's frost advisories for Oswego, Cortland counties and areas to the east of Syracuse, where we will drop to freezing tonight. In the Syracuse area, we're expecting a low of around 40, so a, a pretty chilly start to the day tomorrow. But the good news is that tomorrow afternoon will be warming up very quickly and we hang on to the sunshine that we're seeing this evening as well. And we stay warm for the next couple of days. Then a strong soggy system arrives with a cold front that arrives later in the week and it will bring some widespread rain and some gusty winds as well. We may be in alert mode for that. After that system heads out, we stay quiet for the weekend and keep some mild temperatures over us as well. Starting with this evening, seeing sunshine out here on the weather deck and nice and dry from our live triple Doppler radar sponsored by Falso Service Experts. We'll get some chilly air tonight ahead of this area of high pressure with a north wind pulling it down from Canada. We hang on to the sunshine tomorrow as high pressure continues to move in over the northeast and it will eventually bring a south wind with some much warmer temperatures for tomorrow afternoon and really the next few days in a row. High of 70 degrees tomorrow after starting off near freezing for some spots. Then upper 60s Wednesday, cooling down on Thursday in the mid 60s as that soggy weather system moves in and it will continue to bring us some cooler temperatures heading into the weekend. 60 on Friday, lower 60s on Saturday. So feeling like fall, nice and mild. If you were planning on mowing your lawn over the next four days, I'd get it done tomorrow while we still have the sunshine or early on Wednesday. Wednesday afternoon, we're going to start seeing some scattered showers and then the rain becomes widespread into Thursday and quite windy and it may be wet enough to keep your lawn wet even into Friday as well. So better to get it done early in the week. Now let's time out your forecast hour by hour. Sunny skies right now. Temperatures in the 50s cooling down quickly tonight with clear skies in the overnight. Low of around 40 in Syracuse, but 30s for those higher elevations where we'll see some frost to start the day and some valley fog to the southeast. Once that fog lifts, plenty of sunshine through the day tomorrow and warming up quickly with highs around 70 degrees and stay just as warm on Wednesday as well with a mix of sun and clouds and a dry start to the day. Then some afternoon scattered showers becoming more of a widespread rain on Thursday with some especially strong winds and a high of 65. We dry out heading into Friday and stay quiet through the weekend with highs hanging out in the 60s and absolutely perfect weather for that Syracuse home football game Saturday at 3.30 p.m. A live look now from our Stanley Law Skywatch Regency Tower camera. A gorgeous sunset and we're expecting another one of those tomorrow. Make sure you get outside and enjoy that sunny and warm weather for tomorrow before that soggy system heads in. Back inside. Thank you.